Okay, I'm going to do a basic valuation from start to finish. Here I'm going to do Palantir. I'm going to get this data from Seeking Alpha just because it's easier. But before I do that, I just want to make sure that the their debt is limited and not excessive. So total debt is 200 million. Enterprise value is 28 and the market cap is 31. That means they don't have excess debt. They have more cash than they have debt. So I can use the stock price no problem because they're not overloaded in debt and in theory it's actually even a little cheaper but we're going to ignore that for now. What I need is the earnings data. So we know it's a growing company. The question is, is the price accurate for the future? I'm going to take all the earnings data and then apply it in a worksheet and if I eyeball it, I, I can already tell that, hey, it's gonna, they're expected to make $1.19 in the year 2032. That's nine years. And if that comes out true, the current valuation at the current price is 12 PE. So maybe it'll be a 20 PE or a 30 PE. So it, it'll either double or triple. That's one way to, to do a quick and dirty valuation. So let me fast forward and punch all of this into a spreadsheet. So the first thing I did is I took each one of those earnings and I punched them in and then I added a year on top. So now I just have what they're going to be worth, uh, what they're going to earn in every year. And ignoring all these other years, all I have to do is apply a multiple on on the stock uh, on average 15 20 uh, you could say 33 if it's a 3% yield and that's probably as high as it's going to get because it's eventually going to slow down so then I just take that number times the future And I'm, it's going to give me some, this is wrong. It's going to give me some value. And then, so now I know that, hey, in the future, in 2032, this stock can be worth 17, 23, or 39. It could be worth more, but I need to be as realistic as I can. So now, I think uh, Palantir is trading at 15, 15 and change. So we have to decide: is that worth? Is that worth? Is, is that worth the return? So if it only goes up to, uh, this is the multiple. So comparing the future price. To the to the current price so how much would I make this divided by that I might make 19% let me do it again a2 stays fixed and then I'll make it let's do minus one so it's just a gain And then I'll make it a percentage. So this is like the easiest way to just take earnings and factor the future. And then we have to take into account the time value, which um, I could do with a financial calculator, or you can just rule a 72. If uh, a 20% grower should give you at least 900% return in, in nine years. This is only going to give you 162 at the current price of 15. So is that a good deal? Probably not. Most likely um, it's not worth the decade return. Or I could do a, like a Kager analysis, but let's say it goes back to six. Well, now, now we're talking because six in the future can go to 40 or higher, then that's worth it. 
if it's if it's a steadier grower, maybe it'll get like a 40 PE. And it can go to 47, let's say. So if I could buy it at 6 and it goes to the highest value, that's a good deal. If it's at 15, it's not as good. And that's how, that's the most easy and useful way you predict in the future, not your prediction, but this is analyst prediction, and then you you try to discount some number and see if it if it's worthwhile.